That's fing Al Sharpton. Whoa, my God. Al Sharpton, you're a race hustler. You're a race hustler, Al Sharpton. USA! I love Donald Trump, USA! Forget them bums, USA! Have a good day, we love you. Crackheads for Trump. <laughs> Yo, that's Chank. Back at a selfie yeah. really quick. All right, real quick, really quick. You got a friend in me. I appreciate that. Did you want to clarify your stance on the Armenian genocide? Yeah, I, I think it was terrible. Yeah. Chank confirmed the Armenian genocide, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go talk to the Proud Boys. Thank you, thank you. Can I ask you a question? Why are you proud to be a boy? Proud to be a boy? Oh man, that's a that's a that's put me on the spot. Um, oh, I suppose it's for my male privilege. I enjoy my boy privilege. Yeah. And like, you, there's no reason why a person like me, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with me or you for that matter, that you should be able to hold a fucking high-powered rifle and be able to shoot someone way down there dead in the head. That's the that's what everybody throws up. Like, if you're not. So who, if you don't have a gun and someone has a gun, what are you supposed to do? Well, my first thing would be try to rationalize. I mean, we protect people here. Like the police protected that guy. They protected me. They protected the Proud Boys because... Aren't you ever worried that the police might take longer to get there? So like if you call the police... In Detroit, man. You call the police, man. Yeah, they ain't coming for 30 minutes. So wouldn't you rather prefer to own a gun, be able to defend yourself, rather than just have no one? I'd actually rather not and have a guy fight. Fight it. Put the gun down, man. I'm what, if they, what if they don't? What if they like to shoot you? You know? Sure. Okay, so legal immigrants with Trump. Why do you like Donald Trump? Um, first, let's go the basics, the economy, you know. He is free market, you know, he respects private property. He's not a uh, confiscate wealth from uh, people and redistribute in a socialist way. He Can I ask what country you came from? Mexico. Mexico, okay. What year did you come here? What? Which year did you come here? I came here 25 years ago. Okay. okay. And have you always voted Republican or...? Um, well, independent, but you know, I'm, I came here, I didn't stay in my house to enjoy my living room or work in my basement or my garage because I'm very angry and I'm very frustrated and sick and tired of um, what? the media and Democrats not only treating President Trump like they do but also the people who vote for him. You know, they think, and I break the mold being a Hispanic immigrant here, yeah. okay? Which is a lie what the media and the Democrats tell us. My fiance is a school teacher. In Detroit? Uh, no, no, I won't, I won't say okay, where she's yeah. at if you don't mind. Yeah, it's fine. Um, she's a school teacher and they, they teach her how to prep for school shooters. And all they got is a little doorstop. That's all they've implemented in her school district is a metal doorstop that allegedly will stop it. But if I had a high-powered enough rifle, I could blow the wood, the metal, and everything off of a door. And then, and you know what they told her to do? What? You guard the kids. And I, I, I used to ask her. I used to ask her. I said, are, are those kids worth your family's life? We're going to miss you. I, I have two children. I have, I have a four-month-old daughter and a nine-year-old son. And it really bothered me in the fact that she said that she would stand up for those kids. I mean, I get it, I get it, but that's the love of my life, you know? That's the, is that the mother of your children? Yes, yeah, yeah, I want to marry her and everything, yeah. Would They're, you prefer that in that situation she had a gun to defend herself? Absolutely. Okay. And then also, I have a question. So these school I just shootings... I against everything I just said, I'm sorry. What, did you vote for him in 2016? Yes. Did you plan to vote for him again in 2020? Yes. What do you think of... Uh, what do you think of the Democrats in 2020 that we're seeing? I listened to Senator Debbie Stabenow yesterday in the morning. They, they are going off the cliff. They are in... Seems like a suicide mission. It's they, they are... They lost it. Yeah, they fallen. What was your name? 
Roberto. Roberto, John, it's a pleasure talking to you. But uh, anyways, no, I, what was I saying? Uh, you slept with homeless people. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, slept, like... No, I haven't, I haven't had sexual relations. <laughs> You've slept so in proximity to... I hung out with them. I, I, here, I got pictures, man. I come down here all the time. That's cool, man. I'm going to act like I didn't see those uh, those topless photos. Yeah, I, just, I, I didn't see them. There was no topless photos in my phone. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're I was just making stuff up. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you imagined that. Yeah. This guy's got a goat. Get that. <laughs> this guy's got a goat. Hey, you got a goat. Do you support Space Force? Trump, no. Why not? What about Space ISIS? What about the military space in general? Ice. I don't think I do. I just really know it's space. Yeah, are you sub though? You sub to the channel? He's not subbed. I'm pretty sure I am. You want me to check? I'll check. Yeah, okay, he's gonna check on the spot. No, he's checking. Okay, here we go. I am. He subbed. Confirmed subbed. Attaway. What's your name? Elijah. Nice to meet you, man. You were the pro life group? Uh, yeah, I'm here with Life Advancement Group. Okay. Uh, at Life Advancement Group, we provide marketing services for crisis pregnancy centers and pregnancy resource centers. Okay. So we're all about getting women to um, getting women into these pregnancy resource centers where we can provide them with services, or our clients can provide them with, you know, free ultrasounds, clothes, baby food, stuff like that. Where could people find you if they want to? Us, Life Advancement Group. Yeah. You can find us on Facebook or Twitter. Um, Life Advancement Group on Twitter at LAG organization. Uh, what do you think of the Democrats advocating for abortion all the way up until pregnancy and even after pregnancy? I think it's absurd. I think it's deplorable. I think, honestly, it it really shows a lack of respect for life in this country. And I think that I think it really reflects a greater cultural problem in America. It's not just that people are uninformed and it's not just that they don't know what's going on. It's really that so many people know the, the reality of abortion, they know the reality of, of life and conception. It's just that they don't really care. Yeah. And I think that's a huge problem. And it's something that me and Life Advancement Group and Created Equal are trying to fight against. We're trying to fight against misinformation and and honestly, we're just trying to promote life as much as we can. Yeah, I appreciate all the work you're out here doing, man. What's your name again? Thanks. Elijah. Elijah, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Elijah subbed to the Chan. He's kind of a Chad. So. A little bit, a little bit. That was funny because you were like, oh, we're not going to check. It's fine. Oh, oh my God. Look Get out. No, no, no. Go back to Ohio, Caitlin. We're not doing this again. What are you doing? What are you? This is my city. No, Get out. Now. Where's the InfoWars mic? I'm a nasty woman today. Well, I don't want to talk to you if you don't have the InfoWars mic. I don't get to hold it or anything. You know this one. It's just got a different different signage. Hey, guys. I think people should be able to own nukes recreationally because I'm an edgy libertarian. <laughs> you Your group even laughed. I love it. I love it. Okay. We what talk. Are you what are you doing? You're going to go You're going to go start a fight with someone that upload a video like crazy liberals in Detroit. Okay, bye. Uh, yeah, this guy? It's not volume. That's the zoom, sometimes you dumbass. It, sometimes it's volume. Oh, wait. No, it's no, not. No, it actually is on God. Quote it, volume. So, like, sometimes. How? I don't know.